Hey guys, I want to do a book review here for you today. The book is called Harbinger, The Harbinger by Jonathan Kahn. And I read this book in one day, so I'm getting faster with my reading here. And let's see. The book is 250 pages. Um, I got through it pretty quickly. Um, main reason is that I did not set it down much once I picked it up. Very compelling book. Uh, the narrative is fictionalized. Uh, the facts uh, that the person brings out in this book are part of the public record. Um, so it's a factual uh, basis. And what the author does in this book is kind of sew together a bunch of events that have occurred uh, since 9-11 that hearken to the judgment of Israel in 700 AD. And it's, for a Christian, very compelling. I can't say what this read would be like for someone who was not a Christian. I'm not saying that a non-Christian wouldn't understand it. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, from a Christian perspective, um, it's compelling in the sense that we believe the historical record um, of the Israelites and the events that occurred in the Old Testament. We believe that and we take it to heart. Some people may not believe it. Um, Christians and I would suspect a Jewish person reading this book would have some takeaway um, more than just a recital of facts. Um, but as fast as I say that, this is a book that's written to anyone with ears to hear and with eyes to see. Um, I'm not saying that this book is prophetic or that it is inspired. Um, I don't believe that necessarily in the sense that the Bible was the inspired Word of God. Uh, what I will say is that this book brings out a lot of facts that are very compelling. I used to think that the, and I still do think in a sense that the story of Building 7 um, on 9-11 is a compelling case that something was going on that just didn't didn't seem normal. Uh, a lot of people believe it was a an event that occurred uh, by human hands that the not the terrorists either that building seven was brought down because there was there was things in that building that that people didn't want the light to shine on so I I still don't know about that. It, it's pretty interesting, and I I do believe that Building Seven um, didn't appear to be what they were trying to tell us. This book does not talk about Building Seven. Uh, the reason I bring it up is that in looking at the events of 9/11, we all have a different lens that we look through, and sometimes that lens is distorted. This book talks about nine harbingers or nine signs that led up to and precipitated after 9-11. It talks about the collapse of 08, the financial collapse. And again, without giving you uh, too much detail, I don't want to give away the book. Um, very compelling information that is part of the public record. This can be cross-checked. Uh, the conclusions that the author reaches from these is, uh, I guess, up for the individual person to decide. For me, it was pretty compelling. Um, as a Christian, I think that the viewpoint for me is one of reflection. The author talks about the judgment of Israel in 700 um, I guess that would be 700 AD, I believe. Um, funny, I can't quite picture that. I'm sorry, that would be 700 
BC. And the destruction, the Assyrians coming in and carting the people off uh, into um, slavery. And the book doesn't get into that aftermath for the Israelites, but it does talk about the judgment, and it talks about the parallels between the judgment that occurred for the Israelites and the judgment that this author proposes is 9-11, that we're being judged as a nation for turning away from God and from the roots, the biblical roots that the country was founded on, and he makes a pretty good case for it. Now, for those of you that are not Christian, don't uh, take offense to this. There's no offense intended here. But for Christians, uh, I think it's a little bit more obvious that since we uh, believe that God does judge his people, it's not far-fetched at all. And you know what? Um, I'll just leave it to you. Uh, the viewer to decide whether it's a judgment or not. Again, don't uh, don't shoot the messenger here, or don't shoot the person doing the book review. Um, you guys can decide for yourselves about it. R really interesting book. Brings out a lot of facts about 9-11 that kind of, some of them you might know already, some of them you might not know, but very intriguing facts about 9-11 and how they kind of harken back to the judgment of Israel. So uh, with that I will also mention I think uh, we've got about 250 pages. I read this book in about a day. Uh, I did have a lot of time to read it so probably if uh, if it was a normal week probably a couple days worth of reading but uh, very intriguing didn't want to put it down and I read it in a day. So, The Harbinger by Jonathan Kahn, a uh, very good read. I would recommend it to anyone who's interested in 9-11 um, or just a good story. Um, so there you have it. Uh, welcome your comments. Anybody that has read this book and want to give your opinion or just opinions about anything in general. Thanks.